Hello boys and girls, welcome back. Yes, we found a Macaw. Not this one. <laughs> this is Mia. But check this, last weekend, crazy things happened. We had this insane fly day. It was so cool. How many Macaws did we have? Like 11? 11, something like that. It was just incredible. Primrose Hill, Loads of people came, uh, lots of fun. So, we went back to Chucky's. You guys know Chucky, right? He's got Phoenix, he's got Sonic, beautiful birds. We were just hanging out at his house, just having some beers, having a lot of fun, hanging out with all the birds. And the phone rang, <gasps> and it was Monica. You guys know Monica, right? Mikey knows Monica! She's got the three Amazons, they fly with us, they're cool. Monica calls us and asks us, do we have <gasps> all of our birds? Now at this point, we literally kind of thought, yeah, we have all our birds. I mean, we'd know if we were missing a bird. And she said, there's just been a macaw reported on a rooftop, only a few miles away from you guys. And we were like, what? There's another macaw in the area? Great, but not great, it's lost. But we all kind of looked at each other and I think it was at that point where we were like, we have to save the bird. We have to find and save this bird. It was like 10 past three, the sun was setting at 10 to four. We had this 40 minute window and we had to yeah. just do it. Now, I'm not gonna lie, we did have huge doubts. I didn't think this was actually going to be possible. I thought, hey, we could see the bird. If it's up a tree, great. We may find him, but at least. We've tried to save many birds from trees and unless they are a free flight trained bird, there is a very, very small chance they are just going to fly straight down because they do not know how. I mean. I've woken up at five o'clock in the morning to try and save birds at the other end of London, traveled an hour and a half and kind of sat under a tree for hours being like, all right, this bird has no idea how to descend. Great. So myself, Mummy Human, Mia, and our good friend Omar, you guys know Omar, right? He's got Scarlet, he's got Happy. We all jumped in Richard's van. You guys know Richard, right? He's got Zoom and Arrow. And we headed there. Now this place was like a 17 minute drive away. We get there and this bird is on the roof. It was very scared. This bird was loud, it kept screaming. <laughs> now we took all our birds to this, just for the fact we thought, hey, if another bird sees a bunch of crazy humans with birds, they'll think, hey, these birds like these humans, maybe these humans are safe, great, cool. Anyway, we get there and this bird just flies straight, straight down. down. And we're like, yeah. this is insane. Richard had his green wing arrow. Now, this bird obviously for some strange reason wanted to hang out with arrow. So he came straight down, landed on a car. At this point, Richard approaches him, tries to get him and he takes off again. And we're like, oh, we were so close. Mm -hmm. And the window of time was getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And then after a couple more calls, he just he basically flew straight down. Flew straight down. Richard caught him. He looked very, very happy about this. Um, <laughs> now, one thing, we're all free flyers here. And we literally just looked at each other at this point and we're like, that is so rare to call a bird from a roof or a tree and they just come straight down. Now that kind of all proves straight away that's not a bird that lives in a tiny cage, is neglected, is kept indoors, isn't trained. Like this bird had knowledge on how to fly. He knew what he was doing. Like he, he knew yeah. how to circle, he knew how to descend. Descending is one of the hardest things to teach a bird. So we were thinking, is this bird a, a free, free flying bird? <laughs> is there another free flyer in London we don't know about? Surely not. Surely not. Cool. So the drive back was a very... Noisy drive. Noisy. <laughs> this bird was screaming. I managed to hold him for I don't a bit. I how you did that. He ended up kind of getting out. It was a big, big enough kind of car van. You put yourself in that bird's head. He didn't know where he was going. Yeah. He didn't know who we were. There were all these other birds in the car. And at this point, I'm like, great. Okay, we have to find this owner quick. Like this bird is freaking out. And I thought, okay, we need to alert the world. So I jump on the Instagram, I start posting a story straight away, which went something like this. Um, to the world of the internet, we have found this bird on a roof in a house in London. He's terrified in where? Queens, in Queens Park. Uh, he's a baby, we're guessing anywhere between nine months to a year and a half. If anyone knows, oh, anyone knows the owner, contact us ASAP. 
So when we got back to Chucky's house, the next big decision is who is taking this very loud, very scared bird home. We very kindly and confusedly decided to take <laughs> this bird home. <laughs> After a bit of chatting, we headed back to ours. We get back here, so, and then, you know, our birds are kind of just hanging out with this new bird. And we just literally posted everywhere, all social medias, all of our flyers, social medias. We call the RSPCA, we call the Parrot Society. Literally everywhere we could post, we were posting trying to find this bird owner. Believe it or not, within an hour, we had a response. I eventually got this guy's number through like a lost parrot site and I call him and I'm like, hey man, we have your bird. I need some proof though. Is this We're actually not just your bird? You a random bird? And he didn't actually remember the whole ring number. At this point I'm thinking, hmm, is it, is it not? And I was grilling him a bit. But I felt quite bad after that just for the fact that I lost one of these guys and someone's grilling me to prove it's mine, they'd be pretty upset. So I thought, you know what? He's got half the ring. You can't just guess that stuff. So this guy is on his way. You can imagine what's racing through his head. Probably just nervously just trying to get there as quick as possible. You know, he has no idea who we are. It's all very kind of scary for a bird owner when they lose their birds. I mean, we know how it feels. We have had it happen to us. So the only thing that we were trying to do is get that bird as quickly as we can back to his rightful owner. So this guy eventually comes around, and this bird literally just turns into this adorable puddle. puddle. Like, you know, I don't know if you guys know when macaws are just absolute babies, yeah. and they want to just cuddle you, and they it just kind of so puddle sweet. all over your shoulder. It was literally the most adorable baby. thing. Literally the it second so that cool. door opened, he was just Straight like, on his shoulder, Mommy. just so happy. And that was so cool to see. I wish we actually filmed yeah. that. We didn't film much of anything, to be honest. I mean, when you're really trying to get a bird back to an owner and it's a situation like this and time is the essence and there's a lot of worry, the last thing you think about doing is, hey, let's turn the cameras on and start vlogging. He also mentioned that he loves the channel and he's watched so cool. our videos and we're like, oh, this he's is like, sweet. Oh, you guys. <laughs> he actually said that he messaged us, he commented on a video asking about free flight advice and I searched for this comment actually that night and I was like, which one would it have been? Because I replied to all and I actually replied really, really He actually really short. replies to every single comment on the internet. But I so. felt really bad now because he just said, how do you free fly your bird? And my immediate response is just do a free flight course. And I kind of wish I didn't. And I wish I thought, hey, where are you? Are you in London? Are you literally just around the corner from me? And he ended up replying more, which I didn't even see. And I wish I did. But either way, you know, he came into Fate our lives. Him here. And believe it or not, this guy is a free flyer. Uh, his bird was eight months old. Actually a she named Casco. Costco. Cos Costco. Costco. Named Costco. Costco? Costco. It's not Costco. And he was actually flying at that time with his green wing. Both birds disappeared for the first time. Now, this was a huge big seagull chase. Seagulls are very, very evil. They ended up miles away, which is a bit of a shame. But both have been successfully free flying. It's so cool that this guy actually came into our lives and we're like, great. We're friends now, let's hang. Um, more birds to fly with! More birds. <laughs> and it's quite cool that we actually found them because if a person who's not experienced in birds actually finds these birds, sometimes they can be extremely hard to hold. They do bite. And if they fall into the wrong person's hands, they could sell them. And that's not good. If you find a bird, please do not sell it. Find the owner. So literally, the next weekend, we headed out to Richard's house. Now, there was a bunch of us that went. There was probably what? what 14, 14 birds in total, all free flight trained. We get there, we meet up with Kareem, that's what his name is by the way, and we hug instantly. It was just magical. The most spontaneous, natural hug you will ever see. This was very natural, not staged at all. Anyway, his birds were incredible flyers. They literally Honestly, probably the best flyers out. there. Yeah. They were was, amazing. They were together in flock from start to end. It was incredible to see. And these guys were so young. Casco, the one we found, only eight months old, and his green wing only five months old. We literally had such a cool day. Monica was there with her three Amazons. We had Richard with Zoom and Nero. We had Lucy with her green wing Echo. We had Chucky with Sonic and Phoenix. We had Omar with Happy and Scarlet. It was a big, big day. And we are so glad we can now share this day with you. So, enjoy, ladies and gentlemen, and Ooh. watch 14 Birds in Flight.